Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting intermediate programming tutorial. This is Turing and we are on episode number 15 I believe. So let's get started. What we're going to try and do here is we're try going to try and make a color wheel. Now normally when I'm trying to make programs such as this artistic program of the uh, Toronto skyline which I did so just as a test all these are hand drawn to 111 lines of code um, this I basically I needed to find different colors and uh, I, the regular 1 to 15 would not help me so what I decided to do was build a program that would help me make the different colors work and um, tell me what the different color codes are so I'm gonna first start by saying I'm doing set screen. You don't have to do this, but I prefer to. I'll make it graphics 400 or x 400 y 500. I'll set the title to be color wheel, and I'm saying color because I'm with a U because I'm Canadian, and then we'll write no button bar. Now no button bar means that when you run this like if I write put yo if I run this without this thing here like that then it will have this bar up here but then if I write this here in then that bar won't be there anymore and also title just sets the title of the window so yeah alright let's get rid of that now, now that we're done that, we're just going to start with the for, uh, for loop. For the uh, integer i, 1 dot dot, 1 dot dot, 255. Now I do 255 because 255, there are 255 uh, color codes for tiering. Um, I'll write draw fill star uh, from 0, 0 to 400, 500, and make it color I, which is the color we're declaring, and then um, write put color color is space comma and an I, and then I'll write CLS uh, just so it gets rid of the color, and then down here I'll write N4, and by doing Control Enter, you write N4. By pressing F2, you will indent everything automatically, and then by pressing F1, then it will rerun it. But also, if you press uh, Control Enter, it just ends any structure that has been um, made. So, for example, this is a for loop. Uh, for loop, if you do regular loop or pro uh, procedures, anything that need an end. Uh, then it will write the end command for you. So let's get started. Let's just finish this off with a delay. First delay, and we'll set it to 500 so we have enough time to see the color. And then we'll write CLS. So now we'll write, we'll press this button, and now this is counting in the colors. So this is the color code, and this is the color. Uh, the example is the star. So I want to try and find a uh, bright yellow. So let's see, I think it's in the 40s somewhere. Uh, let's try and find a bright yellow-ish color. Uh, Alright, 44 works. So let's use the color 44. Now if I wanted to make this background of my Toronto skyline yellow, instead of using 199 which I used here, I'll use 244, right, I'll use 44 because that's what I saw. Boom, we have our yellow sky. So that's basically it for this um, tutorial. I'm just showing you guys how to make the uh, color codes, how to make something that will help you out with color codes with uh, pixel graphics. And thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll be sure to make the next one on random integers. But until then, see you.